everything back to, so you can't hear me, but hopefully that's good. I think you can hear me now. Didn't hear me bitching about the uh, streaming thingy I was using. You don't need to hear it that much, that's fine, but as long as you can hear me. You can just see my dashboard right now, just ignore that. So what we're doing is playing Black and White 2. Black and White 2, some of you will recognise this game from way back when. <coughs> just going to jump straight in. This is Lion Gate Studios. Um, probably their best game, I would argue. They also made uh, Fable, for those who don't know. As well as a couple of other uh, littler titles, like if anyone remembers the movies, similar type of thing. Well, actually, not very similar at all. Building a movie studio, this is building a civilization, but still, you know, core concept. I know you can't read the writing because of the screen thing, but deal with it. It's really not very interesting. <coughs> We are a god. That is it. That is the story in a nutshell. Ah, oh, but here we go. I've got the audio loud enough that you should be able to hear it. So this is the kind of the, the first gimmick thing about it. You get to choose a big monster thing to be your, uh, like, guy. Who'll help you on your way? <coughs> now, typically I would always go for the lion or the wolf, just because I like them to be evil. And uh, lions and wolves are pretty evil. Now, I don't actually remember if there's any difference between the four. Look at the animation, they're just dragging the things around the screen. So, a lot like Fable, they stuck with the kind of binary morality system, where you either do the good thing and become good, or the evil thing and become evil. I'm not actually sure if it's best to make them good or evil. <coughs> Obviously, the idea is... Um, that you can go either way and it won't matter, but like most of them, it, there is a clear better and worse, but I'm not sure which is which. Um, I might go with the cow this time, you know. Should I go with the cow? Now, I remember the first time I played this game, uh, it didn't work. The hand, you see, this is my cursor, it's the hand. I think I'm gonna go with a cow. Oh, great choice, boss. Thanks, Devon. Since I don't just want to call them good and evil or God and Satan, I've decided to call them Devon and Cornwall. Devon is evil and Cornwall is good. Like in real life. Do you need to refresh about how to move like a god? 
Sure. As you can probably hear, I am clicking it. Well, oh good, it just went through. I kind of like this control system. Movement button is right click, by the way. Yeah, do the same, but the other way, I get it. There we go. Simple enough. Yes, I understand. Uh, Lionhead Studios, now defunct, dead, gone, never to return most likely because they're owned by Microsoft, who have shown no interest whatsoever in reviving them. But they made some, uh, some good games back in the day. This was probably my favourite of them. Uh, the movies, I also own the movies, so hopefully some point we'll get to play that as well. Uh, just getting this to run on at Windows 10 PC is kind of difficult, though. You have to, uh... You okay, Paul? Oh, we're waiting for the cow. Yeah, we were waiting for the cow. Anyway. <coughs> yeah, you have... To, I had to go onto the official website and found the, uh find the official patches that they released for the game just to make it open the window at all. Now, if I remember right, I had real trouble learning this tutorial the first time. I don't know why. I think it's because it kept crashing and wouldn't let me progress no matter what I did. In fact, I think I, I figured out in the end that when we were just waiting for the cow there, something similar happened where the animal got stuck on scenery and just didn't come to me at all. So I just got stuck in this uh, tutorial for What? What did you want me to do, God? Cornwall, we're going to fall out. I... what? It was green when I did it. Are you happy? He's a pain in the arse. Highlighted area. There you go. I did it. I think zooming in and out is just the mouse wheel, isn't it? Oh, this was the problem I had. Uh, when I started playing this way back when, we had a cheap, crappy mouse that didn't have a mouse wheel, so I couldn't get through this bit of the tutorial. He pulls on his nipples as well. I don't really understand that. Shouldn't have done the whole tutorial, should I? This is a gold scroll. These lead you through the story. Simple enough. Silver scrolls lead the quests in the world. Now, like with most real-time strategy, and I've been looking for a good real-time strategy, I've said it in a couple of different videos that I've done, I really want to play this type of thing again. Um, this probably isn't it, in all honesty, but... Well done. But, I enjoy it. Um... It's scenario based, as you'd expect, like the, a lot of the old ones were. The old. like Age of Empires and Warcraft and. Thousand gold. 
Or tribute, I call it. As you can imagine, you're playing God, you're building your civilization up to become the strongest. So this is how you build. Yeah, that's how you assign people different jobs, so you can make them like builders, farmers, or breeders, in which they will have sex with other characters and have children. Very good. Now drop him by a highlighted area. Don't look, leader. The breeders are doing whatever it is such people do. And see, we got a builder. It's not the most efficient way to uh, appoint people to things, but it works. You'll never have a population of that big. Anyway, it only gets maybe a hundred or two hundred. Sure. Now, the most annoying thing about this system is that I cannot use WASD to move around. I have to use the uh, the dragging mechanic it, asked, it told me about. Thankfully, you can zoom out pretty far. <coughs> Let's see what this mesh mission is. There is a god up there, and you can hear me. Please help me out. I'm in dire need. My life is in ruins. A rock has rolled onto my lovely garden. I've been trying to move it, but it's too big and heavy. My life is in ruins. He says. Please hear my prayer. Who's he to ask us to move a rock for him? <laughs> Let's teach him a lesson. No, no. One second, guys. Just gonna get rid of that because it's kind of annoying me. Not that it was zero, just that it's uh it's in my way. No, I'm not going to skip the land. You say that, but... Yeah, a lot of the time helping people pays off. Kind of like in black and white where you get the choice, I can be good or I can be evil, the actual answer is to be good. Because it always works out better. Let's do some more silver scroll, then we'll move on. Just getting gold ready for the next stage because it'll make it easier when I get there. <coughs> Look at these peaceful people. How lovely. Mm. We could help their friends by moving them so they can be together in the main valley. Okay. I guess. Isn't that sweet? A little lost valley of people. Way to go. You're holding a nomad. Great. The nomad is in the right valley. Marvelous. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good. Now, of course, the ability to make breeders and things like that means that there's a lot more of a population control element to this than in most. <coughs> because you're directly controlling it. One sec. I think I'm having audio issues here. Is this okay? 
Good. Yeah. All right. No, never mind. Just uh, my screen playing up. Issues with live streaming. We know this. Get rid of that. Where's the next one? Down here. It's also really nice to be playing this on a really good PC because I'm not really good PC, but better the PC than I used to. My PC was crappy for the mid 2000s, so you can imagine how bad this game ran and looked. Uh, for the game to actually work properly, it's great. I think this aspect of being a god is kind of silly. I also need a bigger mouse pad. My hand's getting kind of stuck. Really? Yeah, did it. With mouse, with well, with severe lag on your screen and your mouse, that challenge became very, very, very difficult in the uh, days of the mid 2000s. I'd have been on that island for like 35 minutes trying to do those challenges. You just told me to. Of course, I want to. We need to get on with the story. Black and white too. What? Now you've had a taste of your powers. We're going to about? visit our mighty Greek capital. <coughs> people that worship us. Please hear us. Oh. Can you hear that? That's a pure. Prayer. I really wish there was a. What I was going to say is it's scenario based, kind of like the things at the time, like Empire Earth and Age of Empires War, Warcraft, actually. For World of Warcraft. Warcraft was a uh, real-time strategy game. So you go from one scenario to another, you win the scenario, you move to a different world starting again, basically. I really wish there was a concept of being a god like this that was more kind of... less than managing a single civilization from the bottom to the top. I wish it was more like a big open world with lots of civilizations. And that then you get like different challenges or objectives to go them against each other the way that gods in ancient Greece at least usually would. Let me know if this is too loud by the way. Yeah I can read. Thank you. I did super well. I feel like the gods are very sarcastic. Yeah. What exploded? What's happening? What's that rumble? That creature seems to be performing some strange So this is uh probably my favourite gameplay, like not trope but cliche or me uh, mechanic thing where Oh. Yeah, where the game crashes mid sentence. That's what I love. Game crash, guys. Let's try that again, shall we? What I was going to say, one of the better game mechanic things where it shows off early on what you're going to be able to do later in the game. Uh, in the very first mission. The enemy that's attacking you shows you the maximum that your character can eventually become. So... Um, obviously I did all the scenario and things there. So, now it's time to Click on with the to I'm pressing all my buttons trying to uh, skip. We want the cow, right?
Lion, you're not going? Come on. Get a shift on. I haven't got all night. We're just going to skip the land altogether, I think, now that we've picked our animal. I can't be asked doing all that again. Maybe, I mean, we'll do it hard mode then. We're going to try again and see if this, uh, if this crashes a second time, I'll try and skip this island as well. But I don't think it'll let me. I don't understand if I was having performance issues or something, but I'm not. This game's working perfectly, other than just died at a random point. Lots of them. Better save some more villages again. Look how sarcastic that is. Yes, you did it right. You put him where you needed to put him. Well done. Our people are trapped by the burning buildings. Grab them and drop them in the portal. I think most of the ones I just said were women. No, were men, so I need to get a lot of women this time. There we go. What's happening? Watch that rumble. That creature seems to be I hope it's not a game destroying bug. We got further than the last time, guys. Don't think it's gonna crash this time. We do have a volcano though. Let's get out of here then. Yeah, you can get miracles as big as that, but annoyingly, well, annoyingly for me, I think, um, the biggest and most powerful miracle you can get, the, by far the most effective and cost effective, is just um, convert a bunch of soldiers around you to your own faction. Oh, they've lined up very nicely under these barrels, haven't they? It didn't really uh, kill many of them, though, did it? Good idea. Yeah, killed them all. As you should. Oh no. Another volcano. We can't save any more people. Are you sure? We didn't really try that all that hard. For a god, surely we should have some power beyond this. I remember the volcano being crap, it's super expensive, but does very little damage by comparison to like half the other miracles. So that's the story. You find your Greek civilization on the verge of collapse. Yeah, you there's th I want to say five scenarios, probably less, is it four? Where you basically build a civilization, fight the enemy and then uh, move on to the next one. The last one's really, really difficult as well, taking on the Aztecs. Here we are. Look, here are the people we 
we saved. They're exiting the portal. What it of... Yeah, these guys made it, but think of how many got toasted. Anyway, where are we? This looks like... They are just being dragged across the screen. We can re-establish ourselves here. It looks so peaceful here. No Aztecs. I hope Lion Gate comes back soon. Even Well, not even soon, because it's not going to come back at all. But I hope it does come back at some point. Um... It'd be really nice to see what else they could do. There were some really good people worked there. You can only do things within this ring. You can extend the green influence ring by placing more buildings and having more people. When you're ready to learn how to feed your people, click on the gold scroll over the field, leader. Oh, let's go on with it. <laughs> It's fairly obvious how you feed your people. Your villagers are going to need food very soon, leader. Move your hand over this field, then click and hold the action button to pick up the grain. So you do it. When you've got 200 food in your hand, drop all through it into the storehouse. You do quite a bit with trees and stuff as well, doing the same. Like, put wood in there. Assign them, pick up a villager, then put them down on a field. You now we're going to make a couple of farmers. Those farmers can handle that small field with no problem, boss. We need wood if our villages have to build and our town expand. Grab and pull a tree out of the ground and drop it in. It's going to make a couple of breeders to get them breeding. You know what, as well, I'm going to get some people doing all. Just while it's making me do the tutorial. So I got some foresters, some breeders, some mine workers. That's pretty good. I was just going to explain this, but he's going to explain it. So. The statues on your town center represent your town's desires. This shows what your people would like to build next. Keeping your people happy is important, and they will let you know if they desire a building type. See how the statue is carrying grain? That represents the people's desires for food. If they need ore or wood, they will let you know. Keep an eye on the statue, as it will change. This place height represents how good or evil you are. Yeah. For a stop a flame or a fountain will spring as you perform evil or good acts. The whole city will shift. That's a nice touch as well. The <clears throat> it's something that was severely lacking in, um, well, most games that have a moral system where occasionally you get a bit of extra dialogue or something. But having a, viv a like vivid visual representation of being good or evil is cool. Will do. Hold your hand over the statues and leave it there to get more detail. Can I not build a house? <coughs> it's going to make me build a house now, isn't it? Your people desire houses. Move your hand over the rotating building, then click and hold the action button to drag it off. We'll need the right buildings and food if we're gonna support a powerful army. That's right. Keep going. We can speed it up by picking up a tree and dropping it on the building. Now, drop the tree over the house foundation. See the pile of wood there? Your villagers will use that to build the house with. Yeah. 
They need homes. So let's build some houses, shall we? So did you see how that tree fell onto like that? Not quite like that, but that places the wood next to the house, so then the builders will come and start building. You can also get other houses just by picking up one that already exists on there. You can also drag a building blueprint of an existing house. Move your hand over the existing house. Hold down the action button and drag to get the blueprint. If you want to cancel an action and empty your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. I'm trying to build a path through here if you hadn't gathered. The pathing in this game could be better, I'm not going to lie. By and large it's fine though. You've created a number of disciples, so why not create some more? Probably a good idea. Disciple builder. Selecting this person is really... Breeder. Oh well. Now with the breeders it is uh, obviously gender specific that the the females will get pregnant and the males will not. So I always found it best to make your uh, breeders male because they would then uh, impregnate the female ones and you didn't have to worry about it. Stop doing that. I want the wood. For fuck's sake. Thank you. So we'll just build some houses and then what else can I build? I forget. I'll do anything with that yet. Tells me not to disturb him. Oh. Place of foundation. Nice little residential district, I think. Construct 11 villas, is that? It's probably a super inefficient way to do it, but... That's what I'm choosing to do. I think that'll be enough total, won't it? No, I can't yet. I don't think I can do much until I finish this uh, little tutorial bit. You can also help to build buildings yourself. Finally. This is God building. Yes, you do it by picking up resources the building needs. Then hold your hand over the building and press and hold the action button. This is very useful, but you do lose some of the resource in the process. So that's the thing, you use more resources building manually, like this, in the way that a quick build obviously will. Because if you didn't use more by quick building, why would you ever normal build? 
but for the sake of trying to get more options open to me to play the game, I'm going to quick build as many of these as I can. Look at that tree. Good. You've built enough houses for now. You've created a number of disciples, so why not create some more? What do you need me to do, Gaian? Re-establish the village. Not letting me select my thing in the bottom right, so which you probably can't see, to be honest. Right. What we need to do is increase our population. Yes, we do. Now we've got some breeders, it should be easy to get 75 villages. That's what you want me to do, is it? This dude looks tired. I'm gonna give him the best job. Farmer. Take this wood. I'm already ready to learn about the toolbar. Not you. Give me that wood. Say all the females in this game. No. So, give me this wood. Anyway, let's learn about the toolbar, shall we? This is kind of the tutorial one. It's going to take us about an hour to get through, I think. Yes, I did notice that game. Thanks, Cornwall. I can't do it because I'm holding some rice. Or some shit. There we go. Why? Just let me open it. The toolbar holds a series of menus. These tabs are used to navigate the different menus. The tab currently selected is the construction tab. So the menu shown is the construction menu. Each menu is divided into sub-menus. We're going to show you how to access some advanced features. Press F4 to bring up the tribute menu. This is the coolest part of the menu. The tribute is like a form of currency. You can spend it on whatever you like, including new buildings. You can improve your godly powers and add constructions or features to your town. You earn tribute by finishing challenges and doing other impressive things. We have plenty of tribute at the moment, enough to buy a temple. There we go. Bought a temple, guys. You can now build a temple. There's not much for me to say in the early game, other than that it's a simple, uh, fairly simple real-time strategy. So you get what? F1 is buildings. I think we want the temple here. Some buildings require ore to be built. There are two sources of ore. The first is the ore mine. An ore deposit in the ground that can be mined by your villagers. There are also ore rocks. The villagers can mine these, but at the same time, you can add them to your storehouse yourself. Need lots of ore and lots of wood. I'm gonna leave them to it and I'm gonna look through these. So you get your you get your building menu. You get your creature menu, you get your learning things menu. You get your abilities, which you don't get, you get your challenges, which are obviously for me increase the population, build a temple. 
And then you get your like list of things. I have 24 men and 27 women. 17 children. Fine. And hold the action button to help construct the building. This game tells me to. I don't really like doing this because it actually. Uh, your resources are kind of finite. And so wasting them for the sake of building things quickly is kind of silly. I know resources are always, almost always finite in these games, but ultimately you can get more wood and stuff. In most real-time strategy, there isn't a point where the game will just say you have used up all the resources. Fuck you. Where this one, they're kind that point does kind of exist. Um, so yeah, the amount of ore and trees that I just use building this thing is stupid. But what it does do is it expands your territory. I can also click these manually, obviously. I don't think it'll let me learn anything, though. Just looking to see if there's any challenges anywhere that I can do. No, I think I need to stick with the challenges. Civic buildings are a good way to increase impressiveness. Nobody gets hurt, and we get more followers, making us more powerful. Look, those people are migrating. They want to live in our town. They're bringing all their worldly goods. Hooray! People of all tribes. So that's how you win by being good. By being evil, you destroy cities. By being good, you convince them to join you. Sometimes they die on the way, though, which is bullshit. You can see, they're bringing 14,000 food. That's a lot. You know, what's probably worth building is another storehouse. This time over here. that. I'm trying... The tree is in it, though. Look, it's... Well, no, it's not really, is it? That's what I want. And you get... Oh. It is. I'm not entirely sure how I turned that menu on, but I did. So yeah, that uh, the little star that comes up in the gold writing is impressiveness. The impressiveness being what he just referred to. What's my hand doing? Is it the destruction tool? Can I deselect the destruction tool? I don't know. Well, the people are here. So. People have come to join our town. Pick up their migration flag and drop it anywhere within our influence ring. Can I just... No. How do I stop destroying things? Okay, F shows me stuff about the land. E shows me that. S is does what does that? 
I assume D would be for destruction tool, but it doesn't seem to be. I am trying. My population increased. How do I get rid of the destruction tab? This is really frustrating. Why can I not just... trying to build a road but I don't want to build a road oh I can just shake ah I remembered it's not E sorry guys I'm messing up there S I discovered it One of those is select the destruction tool, but it's not deselect the destruction tool, so I really don't know. Apologies for that. Where should the armory go? Let's build it over here. You know, where's the stupid? Alright, we're going to see what else we can uh, unlock to build. Torture pit. Through fear, make sure people understand your point of view. A manor. It's a bigger house, I think. Nursery. Surf learning environment for the children. Your birth rate will also rise ranged armory that shoots things, lumber mill process the trees you fell, amount the amount of wood you produce from each tree that one's probably really useful to have can't afford all the rest you can get quite a few things on here and there's also mods you can get by, made by fans that Unlock things like football pitches. I feel like the lumber mill is going to be the most useful long term. Let's build the lumber mill. do that in a moment. I need to build my wood thing first. I seem to have turned off some of the uh, 
individuals on the screen. But that's fine. That is sweet. Warriors form platoons. They are recruited via the flags on the top of the armory. Pick up one of the flags on the armory, then place it in the highlighted area. Dropping a flag will make a standard size platoon. To recruit a larger platoon, hold down the action button, then drag away from the flag. So yeah, you can make bigger groups. Obviously they take up your population, which is a problem. So you have to be careful with it. Full day night cycle in this game too. This is how you control them. It's kind of irritating. <laughs> the archers are better as well than the swordsmen. So it's a very simplistic uh, combat in this. You pick up the flag and gain control of the platoon. Click on the flag with the move button and you'll go directly to the platoon. And there you have it. The basics of army flags. Pick up the platoon flag, boss. Hang on. I'm going to rock. That's perfect. Click on the highlighted area to tell him to go there. If you want to cancel an action and empty your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. Okay, boss. Let's get aggressive. With the platoon flag in the hand, click on the <coughs> enemy town center. This will order your troops to So this is actually the, the tutorial world. No, this. That. Also, the Greeks, but they're very clearly Roman troops here. If you can tell. An army marches on its stomach, and these guys will eat twice the normal rate. So keep an eye out on your stores. So that's the other big problem that they take up. Uh, of food. Speaking of which, there's also a difference between um, the fertility of different grounds. Um, you can make your fields bigger too. I always tried to do a bit of both because I felt that's what the game was pushing me toward but in hindsight I feel like you're supposed to commit to one way and then do that all the way. D is my destruction tool. That being right on the edge is kind of annoying. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I feel like I used to have a uh, ability to see how far this was from being conquered. That takes me back to my town centre, noted. Now 
Not very helpful. No, give me options. Show village details and names. Show text window, quick save. Toggle tool tips. Zoom to take screenshot, toggle toolbar. Could it be toolbar? Alt and H will change my hand as well, apparently. Oh, it's left or right. Is it enter? Oh, enter turns my toolbar on off, right? No, I guess I just have to wait until it says you did it. There's some more little tribes down there. That I conquered. Way to go! More followers for our glorious war machine. Yeah! Now you own this town. You can do anything in the green influence ring. Just like in your town, boss. Attack is the best form of defense. Get your armies out there. A newly created platoon starts at experience level one. Unless they fight, they gain experience. When the platoon's experience reaches a certain threshold, they go up to the next experience level, and with it, their skills such as fighting and speed improve. Lastly, if you want to spare the platoon, drop the platoon's flag onto an armory and let those weaklings off the hook. You can win by taking over towns using force. Or by impressing the people in those other towns. Yeah, war solves everything. Well, actually, leader, you can win by a mixture of impressing and war, you know? Alas, the time of innocence draws to a close. You must take a step down the road of good or evil. And by the way, war is evil, and I'm evil. Get out of the screen. Get where I'm coming from. The time to choose, boss. Try to build a road. Oh, this was a poor decision, wasn't it? Oh well, you can actually run them around like independent villages. Disciple Forester. Disciple Forester. <laughs> Disciple Breeder. Which I'm going to try and do, if at all possible. I mean, if I wanted to finish this scenario quite quickly, I could probably, uh... Click on the gold scroll. I'm going to do it. I'm busy. <clears throat> I could probably just take over the other towns really quickly. Um... some roads too. I'm gonna build a couple of houses right on the outskirts. Hopefully that will mean they won't need any for a while. Got them doing what they do. 
as our city grows, the greater the distance our villagers will have to travel. To aid their little feet, we can build roads to build Yes, I've done road building. Existing road by holding Quite extensive road building, actually. Then drag out <coughs> the shape of the road you want. When you're happy with it, click the action button. You gonna make me actually do it, or...? Have a go at building a road. Well done. All right. Well, that was easy. Another important part of the toolbar is the objectives menu. Select the objectives tab to open it. Right. Right. Here you can find all the important tasks that will enable you to complete a land, and also some less important tasks that are just interesting to do. The tabs at the bottom right control which objectives you are looking at. Either all of them, or a selection from the total. The objectives window up in the top left also displays the objectives. You only need to complete the gold scroll objective to complete the land. But you'll earn more tribute by undertaking some of the other ones. Yes, you earn tribute for every objective you complete. Click on the gold scroll. Gonna build some lines of houses. I don't think this game ever gets as complicated as things like issues with homelessness or anything like that, but I don't actually remember. Some houses being built. Gold scroll, are there any more bronze scrolls? I can't see any. There was a task somewhere for find all the tool tips though, so let's see if I can do that. There's one. With them. Creature will stay with you to the end, etc. Sure. Ah, oh, this is another skill. This one's actually kind of fun. I like that you can do this. Why? By clicking the action button on the sky, the hand will change to sundial mode. When the action button is released, the sun will move in the heavens. Ah, power over the sun. But with great power comes great responsibility. I had someone write that on, um... Well done, leader. But all light needs a shadow. Change the time to night. Oh, it's too bright. Change the time to night. There you go. Yeah, I had someone at work write that on a piece of... Uh, I had like a request for someone to be given access to something. Uh, just, and it asks for a justification on the form that they have to fill in. 
And so it said that he needs to have the power to whatever, blah, blah. And with great power comes great responsibility. That's a bit dramatic. Given he needed, like, access to a new computer system or something. Sorry, that's your job now. What are you guys? We need many mine workers. Let's get about three. I'll leave them there. So, what I'm curious about is whether I could make them take over this village that's already gone. I think I can. If they're using up food, they may as well be doing something. Silver Scrolls are the most fun, because they're the side stories. Oh, tap into my stream. With. She says no man has touched her. It's an immaculate conception. <laughs> so it must be down to you. You are responsible for the child. Pay me a dowry of one thousand wood. <laughs> See, it'd be fun if you actually could do that kind of stuff. Boss, you dirty dog. I knew you had it in you. It wasn't him. We should find whoever is responsible and clear your good name. Something is amiss here, leader. Maybe you should see where she's going. Click on the gold scroll. No, I'm following where she goes. So though this is some, I'm sure, riveting gameplay for all of you watching this pregnant woman walk. But let's talk for a little bit, shall we? How are you all doing? Are you feeling good? Are you happy? Are you having fun? This obviously is the least interesting of the scenarios because it's the tutorial one. Some of the missions that you do in this game are really fun. Some of them could be better. I feel like the next thing I want is the nursery. Oh no, there's loads of stuff over this way I didn't even look at. Look. I mean, the ball and the teddy and shit are all kind of useless. Punishment spike, I'm not a fan of. Meadow? You know what I mean? Big fertile area. A well. Positive effect on the town. Uh, multi pickup. Or gesture to do things, that's probably useful. Houses, pot markets, hand forcing, where you can hit people. Plant market. Make people nicer. Hovels, statue market, tavern. Tavern's probably good. What's granary? Process the crops to make it more useful. Yeah, I think I'm going to want all the process to make more useful things, aren't I? I mean, presumably the uh, the problem with taking over new towns is that they they have nobody in them once they've already uh, like won. You know what I mean? If you've convinced them to come to your town, and then you take it over, there's nobody there's nobody there living in it. It's one of these two pregnant women. I've forgotten which. I'm just going to keep them both on the screen. See what happens. Right, it wasn't that one, which means it must be this one. Or was it that one? No, it wasn't. It's this one. <coughs> I 
I had one job and to do was follow a woman. Normally so good at that. What? I have to do the creature tutorial too. I get 20,000 for doing this paternity thing though. There it is. There you go. <laughs> Took me ages to figure that out the first time as well. It's so obvious now you think about it. Somebody in the background just gave birth. I don't know if you saw that. I, 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 I can't believe it. I apologize. I'm so sorry for accusing you wrongly. I'll make sure the child is raised faithful and true to you. Thanks, dude. Any more farmers though? Any more farms? Full stop. on the breeders. I'm going to try and do all the scenarios here again, like I said last time, to get as much money as possible for the one after, when it'll become more difficult. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for. Uh, I usually try to go for over three hours, if possible. Hopefully we'll get that much. Cockerel. Oh, I remember this one. This one's funny. <laughs> I miss these old type of games, you know, you don't get them like this now. This rooster wakes me up every single day. I can't get enough sleep. Please help me to silence it. Maybe we can help him, leader. Such tasks do reap rewards, you know. Roosters always crow when the sun comes up. Perhaps if the sun came up a few times in a row, the rooster would keep crowing until it gets hoarse. Maybe. I have to make it night and then make it morning. I think I do. Trying to decide exactly when it co when the cockle does the thing. Surely it's more like here. I can hear a clucking. 
There it was. Yeah. <laughs> the cockerel keeps shouting and waking him up, so I'll make the sun come up a bunch of times so it'll hot it'll call so much that its voice gets hoarse. <coughs> what an ingenious solution. What a crazy way to get ten thousand gold. So There are some more tooltips on this island that I have not yet found. There's one. Oh, they have to come in your main settlement. Got a bunch of money for them. Surely there's a tooltip thing on one of these beaches. There is. Toolbar menu, open and close, toggle, yep. You guys just yell if you see one, okay? Just yell at the top of your voice if you see a sign. I don't see a sign, personally. There's a sign. Yep. That's a tree, not a sign. Click on the gold scroll. Shut up. Found that one already. Fascinating, fascinating gameplay. This. See if you see one. Tell me. Somebody shout. Oh, look at all these. How much do I even get for doing this? I don't remember. That looks like a good place to hide one. Yeah, nothing. Am I deliberately avoiding the uh, creature? No, I'm not. I'm just trying to get some extra money. Which obviously is what we need right now. We need resources. We need finances. Found these two, haven't we? How many's even left? What, really? Nine? Prison is the scary thing. The graveyard is for people when they die. I feel like there's something for... Is it a... What does the university do? Population's minds will grow. Horizons broaden. And they'll be happier and more productive. Okay. Don't really need that. Smelter, that's what we needed. Makes you all go further. They're the things we want to unlock in this scenario if we can. Let's do the creature tutorial then. Learn all about our big monster. Our big dumb cow. Apparently the cow is the best one. Is that true? Hold on a sec. My stream is playing up again. 
God's sake, man. Apologies if that's how it looked to all of you all of the time. It shouldn't have. He's scared. He doesn't want to not scared. He's a giant monster cow. What's he got to be scared of? Let's use the leash to get him to move. To grab the leash, click on the creature. He's been in the pen for ages. Make him come outside for a bit. Move him outside by excellent. With your creature on the leash, you can move him or get him to do things. And more importantly, to do what you want him to do. You'll notice that I'm getting a lot of well evil done. coming up from over on that town. It's because they're all starving. The creature's hungry. Let's feed him. With the leash in the hand, click on the field. Now the reason why the cow I believe is the best one is because he's the one that's the herbivore so he can eat grain where the others have to eat humans. That's better. He doesn't look as hungry now. Whenever you click the action button on something with a leash, the creature will try and find something to do with it. Double click the action button on that rock by the field and he will be leashed to it. Okay. That's right. Marvelous. He's going to get some grain for us. You should now teach your creature whether what he does is good or bad. Oh dear, he's going to eat a villager. You should teach him not to do that. Nonsense! Eating villagers will make him strong! Click and hold the action button on him. Move the mouse quickly from side to side to punish him for eating that person. Now, move the mouse slowly. Beat the thing. Don't eat your people. You are well on your way to making your creature nice. Come on, we're meant to be bad. If you want to cancel an action and empty your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. That is just about everything you need to know right now. Why don't you try experimenting with your creature? Okay. Well, I think if I leave him there, he'll, like, harvest it or something. build a bunch of houses. Huge residential section. I don't think it's pollution. I think it's uh, the fire that are coming out. I'm not terribly good at resource allocation in these types of games. So things are going to go wrong. Just so you all know. smelter is what we want. Now normally when you play this game the first time obviously you look through all these you think ranged art Mary, that's probably quite good. Rest homes useful, nurseries good. Uh, really the best thing you can get is things that increase your impressiveness which are the baths and the amphitheatre uh, and things that make your resources go further because as I said there are limited amounts of each and the point at which you run out and don't have enough to go any further is a problem. We don't have enough food again. Builders, build some shit.
need some more and bigger fields around this storehouse. And then we need some more farmers also. How are we doing for this stuff anyway? What do we need? Homes. Badly. Mm. Well, I'm building more, aren't I? So, I don't know how many more I need. Stroke him. You can always sleep by rocks. Just going to build another line of houses. Might be enough room, I don't know. Make it a little bit wider. No, that was terrible. Oh, we won. Thanks to your divine intervention. I didn't mean to do that. And are now strong enough to survive on the Yeah. I think it's time we set out to teach these Aztecs a lesson. Impressiveness is by far the easiest way to win. We need to restore our people to their former glory and visit all the other races to gather their support. Forget support. Where were they when we needed them, huh? Let's just conquer them. Come on, let's go. Both very valid points. If you want to leave this land, click on the gold scroll. All we have are the different places, so... The only other objective is the sign, which gets me two grand. That's not nearly worth it, is it? Let's get him to pick up a tree, see if we can do it. He can. Let's have him work out. I always want you to work out using trees. Do some working out. You need it you need to get strong. Become a huge and powerful bull monster. Thank you. I'm gonna wait for them to get here so that we can at least do something. Um, that looks like a trap. I don't know where, I'm going to confess, I don't know where half the signs that I'm missing are, so I'm just going to skip that one, I think. Unless I can find them very, very quickly. Same rules as always, you see it? Shout, top of your voice. Loud as you can. See, there's the problem, is that if you take over villages, you get access to these other resources that you don't necessarily have over here. Um, but you have to expend humans in order to do it. Which is what makes it difficult, so... It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of 50-50, you've got to make it one way or the other. 
And you can't... The another annoying thing is I can't repopulate these towns once they've moved. Like this one, nobody's going to come and live here now. They have to just live in the town that they're in, so... Why? Fine, pick that one up. He's not strong enough to pick the big tree up, but he will be. And he's a full grown bull. Pick up the tree. You can see the little bar in the top left. Some farming. Make yourself useful. So based on, I have 17,000 tribute, everything costs more than that, but I have the three that I need. Three that I wanted, yeah, I've obviously got temple, they made me, I've got, then I've got granary, smelter and lumber mill, which are the next big three you build. So once you get those built, you can then make the most of the resources available to you. whole island is mine now. What are you walking towards? I don't think I get any tribute from them, but they have wood food and all. Mm. No, they don't. But hey, <coughs> we'll find out. But this is, uh, that's the core concept of the game. Now, obviously, in the next world, you're going to get more challenging. You're going to have stronger opponents to fight. I'm going to chomp on those trees. Hey. Don't eat trees. We need them. We need them for the wood. That's a sign I didn't see before, but I'm so far away from. There's like eight more to get. No. Don't eat rocks either. Yes, you might get gall sickness. Big dumb idiot. I did not get any tribute from that. Melted. Oh well, let's go on to the next world, shall we? Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Yes. Click again to confirm. I'm clicking like crazy person. There's another uh, strategy game I saw on Steam recently called uh, They Are Billions. I saw it came out like months ago, but at the time I didn't think much of it. Now I'm considering getting it. What do you guys think? Would you watch that? It's kind of zombie survival RTS. Building a town that can survive a cyberpunk zombie apocalypse. Looks kind of fun. Ah, oh, see, look at the size of theirs. And they have a creature too. We need to build a town here though. We need the tribe to grow. First, let's look at the Norse. Hey, seems they have a weak concentrate, and your godly powers will often let you hear his thoughts. Okay. What? Greeks on my homeland? But I saw them all die at the hands of the Aztecs. <coughs> Leader, if we build up an impressive enough town, these Norse will flock to join us. Or, if we build a big army, we can hunt them down and put them to the sword. We're going to try and do a little bit of both if we can. Alright, first thing we need is a storehouse. We 
உங்களை பொறுத்த I forget what an altar does, so I'm going to put it over here where it's useless. one is it? It's one, isn't it? So we also need fields. We need a big field for lots of food. In fact, we want two big fields if we can. Then we need a lumber mill. Around there. Wood is precious, and this lumber mill is so efficient. Let them build. We will just have more to destroy. Right. Going to get some builders in. Now, people will build things still, even if they're not uh, classed as builders. But this ensures that at least some people are doing it. Disciple farmer. Disciple farmer. I'm going to keep him there to uh, try and keep that happy. So other than the lumber mill, we also wanted a granary and a smelter. And then a shit ton of houses. So let's get some houses built. You know what? Yeah, temple too. Why not? Yes, the temple adds a lot of impressiveness to your town. They could have come up with a better name than impressiveness, though. They should have called it like prestige or something, shouldn't they? through there? I cannot. Okay. Okay, so we want some foresters too, right? I don't have any foresters. Disciple Forester. Disciple Forester. Disciple Forester. We also want some people to be miners. But I can't place them in the mine. There. That's better. Disciple Mine Worker. Disciple Farmer. We've got quite a lot of each now.
Gonna get the orbit done for them. And a bunch of food just to keep everybody fed for the time being. Get rid of these trees too. Now obviously I'm building these for them so that we can use these resources better and more quickly. There we go. Now, yeah, these are not great as houses, but they're doing okay so far. Anything else that we can build that we need? Storehouse and armory. I mean, the walls are probably useful, right? We are exposed down this side if they decide to attack us. Can't build it anyway. Let's do this quest. Ah, yes. Walls. These are vital to the defense of your city. We need to build this wall to ensure the Norse can't invade. Click the action button on the turret once. Drag and then click to place it. There we go. The safe, warm feeling of a wall. It's like a big stone nappy. What? You're making yourself look stupid. So, level up, up platoon, collect resources, okay, build a wall. I'm not gonna do it, right? Win the land, create disciple breeders. We do need more breeders. Well, as many breeders as we can, really. Maybe some more. You know what? Another field probably wouldn't go amiss. Just to make sure we keep getting food. If you want your town to grow quickly, it'll need lots of food. Our creature can help with this by gathering crops. All you have to do is assign him the role of gatherer near a field. To assign the creature a role, open the Creature Roles interface. Select the green Gatherer Role button. This changes the creature's role and puts the leash in your hand. Excellent. Now just double-click the action button where you want the creature to perform the role. See the radius around the flag? The creature will really, we want him to go to both, don't we? Then he can take on more of it. We have enough tribute to unlock another tech. Put them in your storehouse. At the moment, your creature isn't a very good creature. Keep forgetting him in this uh, tutorial mode. This is because he's a level one gatherer. You can improve his performance in roles by spending tribute. That way, he'll get much more efficient. Clever, eh? Hey? Simple enough. Your creature can also be a warrior, a builder, or an entertainer to keep the people amused. Builder creatures help with the construction of anything in the town. Yeah, being a warrior will make him serve as an army unit. A creature is still small, and he's not a skilled warrior. You can use tribute to upgrade his warrior role, and he'll get way more lethal. Uh, yes, or you can simply leave him in free will mode. He'll do whatever he wants, and whatever you've taught him. 
The last thing you need to know about roles is that they affect your creature's free will. Yes, the longer he remains in a role, the less free will he'll have. Leave him in a role Simple enough. So you can leave him in free mode and he'll do whatever he wants, or you can uh, put him in a different mode. But the more he stays in it, the less free he becomes. And stuff boss. See if you can get a bigger town out of it. And remember, if you get attacked, make him a warrior. If you need a reminder of what your objectives are, go to the objectives part of the menu. Now there is a uh, the Aztecs, this a legitimate strategy to trying to I cannot tolerate these Greeks any longer. I will have to act. Yeah, there is a legitimate strategy to trying to use your uh, monster just as a builder. Uh, not as a builder, as a warrior. And using the rest of your uh, population to build the town. So it's defended by the, the creature and then basically the people do the rest of it. Probably use a tavern, couldn't we? Feeling a ranged armory might be useful. Universities, university, any good? Maybe not. I think a ranged armory is what we want. Ranged armory that's his uh and teach him the water miracle. University seek of all learning, populations, minds will grow, horizons broaden, they will be happier and more productive. I mean that's probably useful, right? Let's get one of them each. Is that the university they want? Yeah. I feel like I want a road going up here. Can I get one going through that? I must find out what they are doing. <laughs> Prepare a force to destroy these Greek throats. Creature collects three thousand wood, huh? Do some that. Disciple builder. Pick this guy up. Some builders. Okay, they're sending uh, enemies to come get me, so I probably want to be building the ranged armory pretty soon. built. So of course there's a good chance they're going to send a bunch of troops to attack me and I'm not going to be able to defend myself, which will be a problem.
do need that wall building pretty quick though how far is this from being built? not very once I get this built I can build the wall myself there we go so now if I just take a bunch of their ore wall perfect Astonishing one, you built a wall and we're protected against the Norse. Look, those people are migrating. They want to live in our town. They're bringing all their worldly they goods. They are, but they're coming to attack us. Turn that settlement into a military outpost. Build armies there for defense against these people. Hey, he's getting pretty jumpy. Something big's gonna happen. And that's why we need strong defenses. That's why we need to get building armies, too. To build an army, click and drag the army flag. These crafty Greeks are building walls, and so they should. Send a troop to their city walls. Here they go. This is an outrage. Take the nearest settlement. We must stop this Greek invasion. Altars work on a power called mana. You can generate mana by creating worshippers. Go on, create a worshipper. Show us you can do it. So, the Greeks have recruited a plateau. Let's see how it fares against Norse Iron! Now that we They're have coming down there. the altar will generate <coughs> mana. Of course, more worshippers mean more mana. Remember, miracles cost mana, and you need worshippers to generate mana. <laughs> Simple. And get this, you can drop people straight into the altar to create mana too. You will never see them again though. Oh yes, you can also use your tribute to buy miracles. Miracles are a very powerful force, which can be used for good or for senseless, mindless, and glorious evil. This altar already has a water miracle. Try it on that field over there. Grab the miracle and just drop it on the field to water it. Hang on, I'm building some houses. I was hoping for something more, well, fiery. Still, give it a try, boss. This is Norse land. No intruders must be allowed. So there, that's miracles. Well done, great one. Instantly refills the uh, thingy, basically. Yeah, archers on the walls. Shoot the enemy. Simple and effective. That's why archers are better. Don't have to risk anything, just kill them from a distance. Kill them. Nice shot. Boom, headshot. I believe is the phrase. And we have plenty of food. Fire miracle. That's what we want. Heal miracle? Oh, he can heal. We can use lightning. Meteor miracle is a good one. You can also use your thing to get a hundred troops of guns and different miracles for yourself. Siren? 400,000 converts a set number of enemy troops to your side, which is extremely useful. Fortunately, they're all way too expensive for us right now. Right now we need some more. Oh yeah, even Meteor's 150,000. Which is ridiculous, frankly. To let your creature use fire is 90,000. To you to use is 30, is 100,000. Yeah, these are super expensive. When you get fire, though, it is really useful. Nothing I can afford because I've only got 15 grand with me. Oh. 
there trying to get in, I didn't realise. You know what, I should probably have a uh, a second battalion of archers, should I, before long. Put on that wall. What's happening over there? The Norse taking over the towns in the middle, they are, aren't they? Oh well, I'll just take it back. How are we doing for resources? We good? I think we good. I think we're doing well for people too. A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. These Greeks seem to thrive. Their numbers increase, but not for long. Need ore and wood still. Let's take some of this and build the temple as much as we can. For some reason, I become evil when I use my own town's ore to build things for the town. I don't understand this. Let's take some wood. If I can expand over that way, I can build stuff closer to there. University. I don't remember having a university, so I don't really remember what it does. These Greeks build impressive cities. They are tempting our people. It must stop! Recruit an army to send against their puny forces. I'm going to keep trying to build houses and more storehouses too. I feel a storehouse over here would be useful. I'll just get some more houses on the go. Mine are better. The pitiful survivors of the Aztec attack will not last long here. Well, what else can we build? Armories. I suppose I could build another temple somewhere. Top of the hill? That seems likely, doesn't it? about this constant commentary from the enemy leader. It's more irritating than you would think. And you would think it would be very irritating. use another garrison. What's the most I can have that? Arrows. They hurt, but you can't hurt them. The ground will be red with Greek blood. I don't think it will. Not anytime soon anyway. Got them all rushing to join the military. How encouraging that is. I want some more builders. We're not getting stuff built as quick as I'd like. That'll do. The Greek warriors are no match for Norsemen. I think they are. Is he rushing to join the army? Oh. Hmm. 
No. She could be the first female breeder. Ah, uh, here they come. There's none coming down this side, is there? No. I guess let's take this lot. Put them on that tower. Actually, you know what? No, we should probably have them uh, go out and attack, right? No, we shouldn't. We'll leave them where they are. When these guys get close enough, we'll open the gate, the enemies will swarm us, and they'll get shot to death. That's the plan. So the walls are quite well fortified now. Might have to bring my uh, big dude over here, too. One of my other objectives. Villagers must collect 4,000 ore. Oh, they're nearly there. Uh, is that 12 breeders? Need 5 more. Creature builder and build 12 houses. Build on the impressive area. What's that? 10 buildings on an impressive area. Okay. That won't be too hard. Enough worshippers, platoon leveled up, creature collecting 3,000 resources, kill two platoons, deforest the land, a migration. A migration is and increase aggressiveness. Right. Great. I'm just gonna leave that gate open, I think. If anyone comes close, they're dead, so. You get forested. Now we have 30,000. I think a nursery was what we were looking at, wasn't it? Which is 40, so. Ignore that for now. Just keep on building. We're getting trashed. Oh no, creature. They were so fast. How do I change what he is? Creature menu. No? Archers. To explain, look at that combat stirs the blood, don't it? Yeah, that's better. Prepare a force to destroy these Greek troops. No, no, bring me news of Norse victory, not this. I'll do. One of the people wanting a regular armory.
I mean, I suppose, but... Yeah, the enemy actually have a creature, don't they, so... I thought these Greeks were a peaceful race. I must watch closely. I'm gonna make some more breeders as well. Followers, do not be envious of the Greek town. It is a trick to tempt you. We've taken over the town. Disciple breeder. Disciple breeder. My Aztec masters will be pleased when I hand them the seven heads of this Greek army. He doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot to take over my town, though. Oh, look. The most irritating mission in the whole game. But also the most memorable. Let's do that. Help us! We need to finish our special Fantastic move. voice acting. Throw this barrel to my brother over there so he can add his ingredient. Then throw it to my other brother on the next island. It needs to go to them all in turn until our brew is finished. What was their plan for transporting it if there didn't happen to be a god? Through that way too far, didn't I? No, no. All right, calm down. That wasn't far enough. Too bad. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can get it closer, right. Let's do this, uh... That was awful. That was even worse. Right, no concept of how hard this needs to be thrown. Right, I'm, I'm moving the mouse way more than it looks like I'm moving it. Okay. Perfect. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm a big fan of the idea you should always speak to your gods in rhyme. I feel like they wouldn't listen otherwise. I wouldn't if I were a gun. God, war will soon be upon us. Look at that shot. They are a plague. They are a plague. Their city overflows. We follow us. Do not be envious of the Greek town. Tell me I didn't just throw that off the edge. Fuck off. How could these fools survive the mighty This is a bit silly. Pick it up and drop it. He got his barrel though, so we're done. Victory.
Who did they get to act this? I really think I could do better voice acting than these. I mean, they're funny, so... Get it up on here. Then, all I need to do is get it across the ledge. Which apparently is far too much for me. I need to zoom out further so I can get more mouse movement on it. There we go. Don't roll in the sea. Yeah, I was going to try and do it cool, I'm not going to take that risk anymore. Perfect. Don't ask me why that's the most memorable one, it just easily is. Yeah. Something just happened in the background that got me a thousand impressiveness. I don't know what it was. Well done, leader. You did it. Twenty thousand tribute. Are there any more uh, missions on this island at the minute? I don't think there are, are there? I know. I'm right here. There's a group of migrants waiting at our influence ring. We can admit them or decline them. Ha! The Greeks want to fight! Tempted to make my guy a, uh... Yeah, you know what? Go on, cow, crush him. Smash, smash that yeah. What's evil about defending your home? Just to make sure they don't get him. Kick them, we'll kill them all. There you go.
do some gathering. Now that all the enemies are dead. Yeah, just gonna have a quick look for uh, silver scrolls. Little missions, tasks we can do. Yeah, I've tried to do this in the military way before, and I find it so much more difficult than just uh, than just building a city on your own, defending it, and then waiting for the game to tell you you won. Look at all this! Look at all this we got. We got a hundred thousand tribute. How much were the big wonders? Lots. Yeah, several hundred thousand. Amphitheatre costs 200k. And baths cost 100. They wish to wage war against me? So be it. Skyscraper has a lot more capacity. No one likes living in them. Mansion? Counts as a cost, but the town and the people who live in the mansion really do benefit. Should we get mansions? Should we learn mansions? Or do we want miracles? We could get a prison, a graveyard, we could get a tavern, we could get a nursery, a rest home. We got a nursery. Where are my best warriors? Get them ready for the onslaught. Then we'll build the nursery, I think. Wherever it is. Nursery. Plenty of enemy armies, but none of them really threatening. No, hopefully we'll get a. I cannot tolerate these Greeks any longer. I will have to act. What's evil? What's happening that's evil? You know what we need? We need another temple. That's what we need. Try and build this town as nice as we can. of houses on it. Get some grain and eat, will you? Mm. 
sleep in there. I think this is going well. I think it's going well on the whole. Um, I don't know how entertaining it is to watch me just kind of building a town very slowly. Uh, but it's it's fun to do at the very least. We've got lots of food, we've got lots of wood, we've got lots of ore. Should we get a massive army and go on a rampage? They got a monster here as well. They have. What's this one? A wolf. They've got the wolf. I feel like making my cow stronger would be a should be a priority, but I'm not really sure how I'm meant to do it at this point. Get some grain. Just gonna try and keep the th creature happy. Oh, look at him! Look how happy he is. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Right, so. How do I select him to be something else? Muscle, boredom, anger, fear, fitness. He's very fit. He's not fat at all. He's what, 44% of his size, but he's as old as he's going to get in this one. What's the prophecy? Okay. Miracles, establishments, military build okay, different types of buildings. What's my pause screen with that on? How do I make him build houses? I don't want to be a gatherer anymore. I can't remember how to get to the screen though. Can I just do it from being... Seriously, should it not be on the bottom of the screen somewhere? Oh, look at my army. That's awesome. The other side I can't remember is whether in the next scenario I get to keep the armies and things that I've built. I don't think I do. I think I have to build them from scratch, but if I get to keep this in the next scenario that would be very handy indeed. It's not a particularly big city either when you look at it. Can we unlock any more abilities? We've got, what's that, 66,000, I think? 66 is okay, it's decent, it's not amazing. The miracles I don't find all that useful. I mean, maybe I should give... That's the one I'd want, I'd want to give him the fire miracle, but... Candy as 
Aztecs rule this godless world oh, while the Greeks still exist. What challenges do we have too as well? We need all of them really. Oh we won. We did it. I have never seen such nobility As if you could just build enough buildings and then all other countries would just come and join you. I am inspired by their fairness and their civilization. I shall I shall consider becoming allies with these Greeks. They have culture far beyond that of the Aztecs. And maybe the prophecy is true. A returning god saving a weak tribe. Maybe. It will be interesting to see how they fare against the strong Japanese and the brutal Aztecs. I wonder if the Greeks will follow the prophecy and go to Honshai, where some of their brethren survive. Hurrah! Goodness and impression has won the day. I'm just checking the stream on my phone, make sure it's uh, up and running correctly. I think it is. It looks to be. It's what we like. So, I can go, but are there any other options to get money? Creature builds 12 houses. 10,000. Build... Ten buildings on impressive for three thousand. Drop disciples to get five thousand. That one I can do. That I can't now because I've not killed everything. Three thousand food. Creature collects. That's for three thousand tribute. Deforest the land for thirty thousand. Increase my impressiveness by thirty thousand. I think having the creature build houses is probably a good way to do it. So we're just going to build as many houses as we can in what remains of this scenario. I think these are high impressiveness areas as well, so I think this is about what we want. thousand tribute. So we have quite a bit now, or we should have. We have 200,000 tribute. Which means we could get the amphitheatre. Do we want the amphitheatre? Meteors are... Uh, Powerful, probably not worth getting. These are the ones you would want, the great wonders, but they take a lot of effort to use properly. Um, we don't need siege engines, we don't need walls, I don't like the skyscraper. How much are the baths? 100,000? I feel like the amphitheatre is going to be the most useful because it's the, by far the most impressive. The mansion's 80,000. I mean, we could learn loads of other miracles and stuff too, but... No, I think the... Uh, the amphitheatre is what we want to go with here. And then there's nothing else we can buy that's worth having. Nothing even close. I mean, once he builds up his houses, I think we'll get going toward the, uh... Oh, what's the next one? It's the... 
the Japanese, I think it said, wasn't it? Always build buildings, cow. That's what buildings are for. Now see, why would this... Why would they abandon this to come to mine? What's better about mine than this? I mean, I suppose I have temples and things, but what use are the temples to average people? It's a military building. It is really cool if and when you're able to pull off the big miracles, but if you try and use them too early, you have to use so many people as worshippers to gain the mana to be able to use it that it's not worth at all. Not that guy, this area. Build a house, for fuck's sake. What is he doing? Did he just hurt himself? Why? He's getting a tree. Okay. Alright, I'll let him off. It's a nice looking town. I mean... I feel like one of the things you always need in a city builder, more so than anything else, is that when you, the more you build it up, it looks, it should look visually striking and visually impressive. Increases the birth rate massively. That's what we need. Population and all that. And so now, obviously, we have uh, impressiveness buildings that we can get, like uh, temples and universities and things. But we can build these three everywhere we go that increase all our resources usefulness. We can get this which will increase our birth rate. And then we can start to build things like temples and universities and uh, altars that we can get extra abilities with. Have you built houses yet? Do you mean he hasn't built a single house? Not worth it, is it? We'll wait till they get here and then we'll go. I can do more impressiveness now, can't I? Did I have one still for making more impressive? Yeah, increase impressiveness. I need loads more impressiveness, actually. Where's the buildings I just unlocked? Not that way. Amphitheatre. Three amphitheatres should do it. Now the whole world is ours so we can just use whatever we need. Because we'll be going soon. Be gone from this world. I don't think I did this last time. This actually makes way more sense. It's why they give you access to everything, so you can just complete the objectives without having to work at them. I really don't go a long way in these resources, though. And that's the other thing about the uh, amphitheatres, obviously they take a lot more resources than you're used to, to build. Probably can't even see on the stream what's happening, I'm building the amphitheatre. Is that 1,000 or 2,000 I just got for the amphitheatre? 
I think it was 1,000, you know. That's stupid. I'm not doing it then. I think the thing I least like about this game is the selecting system. You have to put the hand over it and then the hand has to lock onto it. And then once the hand's locked on you can actually do stuff. Because it's very, very difficult to get it to actually do what you want it to do. My impressiveness is up. I forget when you look at the impressiveness of the building, because it, it goes up depending where it is, up or down depending where it is. Um, I forget if the 2000 is the maximum impressiveness or the base impressiveness. So now that one's 1900, right? I'm evil apparently for ripping up trees. That's odd. Deforesting the land would take a while, yeah. The best thing to do is the miracles, I think. Use the fire miracle to go around, deforest everything. You can eat animals. Animals don't matter. How close are we? 26,000? No. No, I can't be bothered. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. Let's take on the Japanese. Having crushed the Norse. Leader, I've been hearing rumors that some more of our people survived the Aztec volcanoes. Some elite archers managed to fight their way clear after we left. We need to find them. We need all the elite troops we can get. We need everyone we can get. Archers or not, they're on another land. We must go and find them. Yeah, archers. What are we waiting for? Okay, so is this not the Japanese? I'm largely good. I didn't take any settlements by force. I apparently also took none by impressiveness, but I took eight little town things by impressiveness. Am I misremembering? Is there actually a bunch of different scenarios that I just forgot about? This place doesn't look so bad. We should be able to take it over with a little Right, more warfare! This is what makes my blood tangle! But if you're impressive, you don't need to win through bloodshed. Because you win without having to fight. There doesn't seem to be any opposition. And look, the missing archers. I feel like the reason they gave you a, a set of elite troops right off the bat here is because everybody played the game the first time and went, yeah, we're just going to build a city and take it by piece. Ha! There are some juicy towns to ransack. I'm going to like this place. Hmm. It's nice enough. What? Watch this. Another portal. Who does that belong to? The rumors of the Greeks. No, it's the Japanese, obviously. My brother has sent me to make this island safe. This I will do. Oh, sounds like a tribal commander, boss. We'd better start building now. These Japanese seem to be formidable builders themselves. And get some armies, boss. They look pretty handy in fighting as well. The Japanese are all of those things, this we know. Right, first things first. We got, let me see, 50 warriors. Now that's nice, boys. Real nice. A warring nation needs resources. And this storehouse will be... So what we need to do really is use those archers to take over one of the little nearby towns. And start collecting resources. There. They will store enough to keep the 
fallen of this conflict alive for years to come. Their land will soon yield them all they require. Leader, you must start building a wall inside your influence. You can finish outside it, but not in an enemy's influence. A smelter? What are the Greeks planning now? Smelter we need. Hey boys, we've got enough tribute to build an archer armory. Hey, let's do it. So, there are city builders. They will never match my city. Need a lumber mill. That lumber mill will provide a lot of raw material for the buildings. Disciple builder. Disciple breeder. Disciple breeder. It's gonna get a couple of people doing everything here. Right, so that's the smelter, the uh, thingy, and the granary is what we need now, isn't it? As the teachings of war say, fear not your enemy. A warring nation needs resources, and this storehouse will be full of them. An army marches on its stomach, and these guys will eat twice the normal rate. So keep an eye out on your stores. That wall will not protect you from the magnificence of our city. Need those walls. Is this wall to keep me out or to keep their slaves in? We then need we need to be pushing onward really right off the bat. Then what else do we want to build? I think these towns we can take by oppressiveness, that won't be an issue. Um, we want the nursery, didn't we? They are planning to store for the future. This conflict will not have a speedy resolution. We'll build that through here. Oh, we need houses everywhere, really. The Greek villas have a certain grace, I will admit. We can now house our people. Excellent. Damn it. It's, it's keeping up with me. They're building houses, too. Building houses. <sighs> Smell this done. Good. I have 
underestimated. Their town goes quickly. So, you like your armies, do you? Bow to the might of my armies. The armies take a town from us. Step up our defenses. Send out traders. The teachings say we must not let this lie. Right, so in this direction we're going to need a temple, probably. All the gods you wish, Greeks. They, will not aid you now. they literally are. I am the gods. We have homes for our warriors, although they choose to be on the battlefield. I need to do this so that I can gain access to where that wall's going to be. And then once I know once I can build that wall, we can defend that as the f the kind of front of our uh, our land. If you see what I mean. Trouble is we don't have any ore here. Hmm. And we have a bit of ore. 2,700? That'll do, I suppose. But no, use, using all the ore building the temple just to be able to make the wall. So they begin to stockpile their food supplies. There's the creature. Build the wall. <laughs> then the archers can sit there and defend the town from the front. Ah, oh, creature pen. I forgot about the creature pen. Well, first I need more temple. And we need lots more food. Probably want a lot of farmers. hoping once I get this altar built it'll clear up enough land down here that I can build a bunch more shit. Then once I get all that stuff in I can easily Oh, entertain the villagers. Yeah, perfect. Though I think I told you to build a wall, but whatever. This massive rock needs to be over here, really. Need you guys to all be breeders. I believe that um, the towns share resources, at least in part. Damn it, they're taking over towns as well. Why would my people forfeit their owner and join the enemy? Get up there. That should defend us from invasion. Unless they come round the back. The Greeks have a formidable city. My people must work harder. In which case is it best me taking over this? You know what, there's an ore mine there, so yeah, it probably is. Mm. 
go fast soldiers wait can they even get there anymore I don't think they can can they damn it Greeks hide behind walls. Well. No matter. I can tempt their people out. Hurry up about it. No, it's probably worth having a gatehouse on this one as well. If just for the impressiveness of building it. What do they want? A nursery? I mean, that would make sense, but I don't know where I can build it. Like, how do you get... How are they supposed to get up there? These Greeks are expanding their territory. We must remain vigilant. No, I need a temple. I need a temple down here. I knew I saw it go green. You know what, I'll leave them to it. They can do what they like. They've got farmers, they've got food, they've got, food, they've got wood, they've got a bit of ore. They're good. They're happy. Where are you guys going? We'll train, we'll train the finest swordsman with this armory. Start the, Start the construction of the Siren Wonder. Oh, that's the one we don't want. Oh, this is bad. They can use wonders already. We're taking over towns, but it's only going to go so well for so long a migration, a migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them I think the siren does it take over a town or does it take over a set number of soldiers can't remember I'm gonna take over that so then we'll have we have this corner of the, this have this side of the map in fact They've got so many troops, though. The archer's armory, the archer's armory will be vital for our defenses. These Greeks should not be our enemies, but we must oppose them. The Aztecs command us to. They have so many things here. Right. Um, anything else I can research? There's a group of not really. Waiting at our influence ring. We can admit them or decline them. You can join. That's a takeover going on. That's what we need, because then if I can build a wall or something over here, I can stop them getting into us anywhere. is pleasing. It will defend us well. In which case we don't need that anymore, do we? I don't know how to do that. Feel free to sleep all you like. That's what we needed, wasn't it? We need the creature's bed place. Creature pen. Good. 
somewhere for our creature to sleep. Alongside that, we want a university over here. The writings of the Greek scholars could teach us much. Another temple will do. And while those things are building. By forcing from the tribute menu. Oh, forcing. Yeah, I have to buy forcing. I think it's worth it because I think you get back more. Oh, books about the uh, law things. Okay. You know, honestly, I think that's, I think I played this so long ago that that didn't even exist the last time. The books of law. Now I can do this. I think I have to smash buildings or something. Smash rocks. Yeah, I do. Student monk learning to smash rocks with his hands. Destroy the blocks using your chi. It's obviously pronounced chi, as we all know. But yeah, it's spelt like chi. So this is kind of weird. The way forcing works. No, that's gotta hurt. Poor fellow. Perhaps you could help by destroying the blocks for him, leader. Usually I wouldn't agree with BD, but when it comes to destruction, I just can't say no. Okay, so Forcing I think you have to I don't know how Forcing actually works. You'll need to work harder to harness the awesome But you just move it back and forward. You may try again kind of like this. Ready, yes, Grandmaster Kai. Never actually explains how forcing works though. There you see the you see the smoke coming through it. Problem is it's exhausting on your own. Your cheese, student. Let me try again. There. We did it. Good, good work. I don't understand what use it is outside of this very specific scenario, though. Okay. Excellent. Come on. Super exhausting. You must work harder, student. Walls, so we may choose where we shall fight our foes. They have taken another settlement. Huh. Those that expand too fast expose their flanks. We've taken over a town. You have to maintain it for so long and it hurts your arm so much doing the force thing. It's ridiculous. Do I have to just hold it? You need to work harder to harness the awesome power. Start work. You may try again when you feel ready, student. Yes, Grandmaster Kai. I'm holding. No. No, no, no. Focus your cheese, student. I, I don't really understand this at all. In such growing numbers, we cannot fail. Come on. Uh, 
This needs to work still. I don't even know how to begin to do it. You need to work harder to harness the awesome power of Chi. You may try again when you feel ready, student. Yes, Grandmaster Kai. See, it went on for a minute there, but I don't know what. No, no, no. Focus your cheese, student. The arm is strict. The teachings of war state that this must be stopped. Right, we need a wall. We need a temple first, then. of their scholars. The nursery. I mean, yeah, the nursery would be useful. In all honesty. This shows wisdom. Perhaps they're familiar with the teachings. A nursery to nurture the honorable warriors of tomorrow. Couple of mine workers. Mine worker. Disciple Forester. Couple of foresters. We unite against the Greek menace. Our honor and power shall drive them from the couple of builders. A dwelling for a creature. These creeks are unlike any people I have met before. I think it's just cycling through all the things I did whilst I was trying to do that uh, stupid challenge. Some miracles we can learn, nothing is useful though. Probably need a wonder, and I think we probably need. Oh, there it is. I will watch with interest while the siren does her walk. Yeah, we probably need to build some military buildings. Get out, and he's probably in order. Oh, oh yes, Fabric's turned weedy men into warriors of iron. We are going to need to uh, build a wonder as well if we're going to have any chance of winning. At least stop their wonder. I just took food instead of ore. Am I really trying to build a military building with rice? Fuck it. A 
A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. So the Greeks are must warriors. We must be ready for their inevitable assault. Our ranks grow as war join us. It's the biggest we can make. So, you like your armies, do you? Bow to the might of my armies. Disciple breeder. Disciple breeder. Yeah, we got a real people factory. The more people we have, the bigger armies we can recruit. That monk test gets me 40,000. Building a wonder would get me a hundred. Build ten embellishments. Oh, those like, uh. <clears throat> Grow your town in size. Mm. Your population 300. Need soldiers. Creature can do things. Hmm. How much have I got in terms of uh, tributes? I've got 76,000. That's not what I need. I need more than that. I need to learn a wonder. The trouble is how I ought to do that. What can these get me? Forest ambush, 40,000. Oh, I remember this one. I don't know how to do it. I remember doing it, but I never remember how to succeed in it. I don't think I ever did. Look, boys. That spy needs to get through the forest, but he's going to get himself ambushed. If you spend the signs, you might be able to get him through safely. Those dumb ambushes will also follow the signs, so we can send them on a wild goose chase to make sure the spy gets through. Treasure hunter killed. See, I don't, I don't know what even happened there. Can we afford to build any more military groups? Looks like this is going to go on for a while, um, so I think I'm going to call it there while we're midway through the scenario. Um, it's still fun. It's still a fun game. Uh, I do want it. To Maybe I'll do some more of it. I don't know. Um, it was just really try it out, see how it still works, see how it holds up after all this time. Uh, it holds up decently. I say decently because there's a lot of sort of waiting around for things. It's not a constant something to be think thinking about the way that uh, better strategy games are. Um, Tropico has just come out, as I've also got and played that, so maybe I'd do a Tropico stream at some point. Um, but this was this was fun. I missed this game. I enjoyed it a lot when I was a kid. Uh, so again, this was Tuesday night stream. We'll be back again on Friday, maybe with Nia.
probably with near automata um i also want to do trials though at some point so got a couple of options i'll see how i feel i'll let you guys know on twitter follow us on games babylon at games underscore babylon on twitter also at youtube.com forward slash games babylon and on twitch.tv forward slash games of babylon so that's all see you guys later thanks for watching